Hey everybody out there on Woodworking UK, uh, my name's Tim and I'm just going to give you a quick overview of some of the tools that I've picked up from car boot sales over the last year. Um, so stick with me as we have a look around the workshop. Okay, I've just put a few of the tools that I've picked up onto the workbench. Um, you'll see it's quite Black & Decker heavy um, because I do have a completely irrational love for all of these old vintage Black & Decker things. Um, now, the reason why I've wanted to do this is because I know that some people on there will say, um, you know, you, you need a Festool, you need a, a Makita um, to do a job, but I think a lot of people on Woodworking UK are a bit like me, they're just starting out, only doing this as a hobby on the, at weekends um, and evenings just to pass the time, you know, I'm, I'm not in this to make money. Um, but yeah, so last year I started going around boot sales, trawling the, the Facebook marketplace and Gumtree, um, picked up pretty much every tool in my workshop, bar one or two that have come from sort of Lidl and Aldi. Um, I probably kitted out the whole workshop in here for easily less than 500. Um, it's less than 200 if you ask the wife what I've paid for things, but that's a, a whole different story. Um, so if we start off here, you know, I've got my Black & Decker drill that powers this lathe. Um, it's not brilliant, but it does the job. You know, I've just cut off a, a screw um, and I use that as the, the centre point because the one that comes with it is, is pretty rubbish. Um, picked up this McAllister, I think this cost me £5 at a boot sale. I've only ever used it on the, on the Orbital, but it does come with a couple of other attachments. Um, got this heat gun at a boot sale, a couple of pounds. That's all saws, you know, cheap stuff. Um, this, you know, it's certainly no festival, but it does a job. More drills, pillar drill. Um, I can move out of the way when I don't need it. Got this really old Black & Decker router. Um, it does work. You know, it's a bit noisy, a bit cumbersome, but it does a job. Um, that's probably one of my favourite boot sale buys, although I've not used it a great deal. Uh, Stanley number 50, plain. Uh, I think that cost me a couple of pounds. Uh, a couple of other planes there. Um, I've got this random table saw planer. That came from uh, Facebook Marketplace. Um, I'd say random because I don't actually know who's made it. The only the only thing I know about it is that it's got a, an old Hoover um, motor on there. But I don't really use a table saw, but I have used the, the, the planer part of it a fair amount. I've um, got another um, pillar drill stand there. Then over here we have the scroll saw. Um, which I've done a few bits of, a few videos on my channel. Um, that was another Facebook Marketplace purchase. The only thing I've really done to it is put the adapter on, which um, you can probably guess where I got the adapter from. Um, put a bit of ply on to make sort of a, a zero clearance table for it and it works a treat. Uh, and then over here, as everybody ever, then whenever I put a picture up, always comment, a variable speed, Black & Decker, uh, bandsaw, um, which again I've used quite a lot, does a job, and then I've got my table saw that's now mounted into my workbench. Um, this was about £15 from eBay, um, didn't have a fence, um, but I picked up this one from Axminster, which is supposed to be a bandsaw, a replacement bandsaw fence. Uh, that just slots on, um, I've just managed to sort of rig it up underneath. Um, I'm going to look at a replacement eventually, but it, you know, it, it, it does the job. Um, and for me, that's what tools in a workshop should be. You know, they should be about doing the job that you need them to do when you need them. Um, so, um, now, that was me. Uh, super quick look around because you know, I'm trying to keep this relatively quick, which if you watch any of my videos over on my channel, you'll know is a bit of a problem for me. Um, so whatever you do, whatever kind of woodworking, enjoy it, have fun, um, and uh, as a cheeky plug, if you do want to drop over to the Timber Worker channel um, and you can see some of the other things that I've built using these uh, budget tools. Thanks a lot, see you again soon.